Now, if you're anything like me, you spend a minimum of six to eight hours flicking through your For You page on TikTok, wasting away your life, trying to not think about how terrible it is. Now, over the years, TikTok has developed from an app that was originally made for people just to do lip syncing to now people making memes, stupid videos, things that make me cringe so bad that I want to crawl up into a little ball and die. And as of recent, a lot of NSFW stuff has started to pop up. Now, some of this stuff, I can see why it is fine for it to stay on TikTok. But recently, I came across this TikTok on my For You page. Now, obviously, when something tells you not to click on it, the first thing that you're going to do is to click. I'm a child. You're a child, we're all children. If someone tells you not to do something, you're gonna do it. You know, it's it's like that saying, yeah, don't put your hands in the cookie jar. What are you gonna do? You're gonna fucking put your hands in the cookie jar because I want a cookie. So when I come across a cute TikTok that says, do not click on this sound, I warned you, I'm going to click on the sound. Now, before I clicked on this sound, my first thought was that it was gonna be something extremely disgusting. I came across a sound, sometime last year where it was the sound was just a whole load of women mothers breastfeeding their babies it was just wild about how something like that could be on tiktok but at the same time i could see why tiktok wouldn't want to take them down because they don't want to get in the hole of you know fight with twitter about how breastfeeding is normal which it completely is but at the same time it should not be on an app like tiktok especially when this app is meant to be garnered towards children and having women breastfeeding on an app that's for that's mainly directed towards children and i'm pretty sure tiktok have made that very very clear even though there's a lot of adult creators and a lot of adults on this app they predominantly and tr are trying to target it towards children but <sighs> Unfortunately for me, unfortunately for whoever else clicked on this sound, it was not that. It was not something else. No. Once I clicked on this sound, it was a whole bunch of videos. And I don't mean it was just a couple. This sound, as of right now, has a quarter of a million videos. And not all of them are what I'm going to tell you they are, and I wish I could show you on you on my video, but I know for sure that if I had to show them on my YouTube video, this video would get taken down 100%. So the first, I'd say, you know what, I scrolled down, maybe saw the first 20 to 50 video. I don't know how far down I scrolled. I didn't scroll down that far because I just thought it was going to be endless, gone on forever. And all it is is, is just a whole bunch of women showing off their assets. And now we've obviously seen some videos on TikTok where there's been women showing off their butt, showing off their chest area and it not being too not safe for work. And it's fine. You can see it's like, yeah, that that's absolutely fine. But these videos just take it to another level. There is literally one video of some woman Who's sitting, I'm going to try and give it a demonstration right now. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't get taken down. Of some lady with, I can't do it because I'm not very flexible. And these pants are, these track suits are kind of tight. Of lady, like really close to the camera, the camera's right here. Legs up. And she's just wearing, just panties. A G-string. A, a thong. Whatever you might call it. And if you had, you can basically almost see the edge. You can, you can see, you can almost see the curtains. They're so close to being shown through her underwear. It is absolutely ridiculous of how the video isn't taken down. There's another one of some other woman wearing, you know, those jean shorts, but it's where they either pull them right up or they decide to cut the pocket to where the pockets are and it's basically not shorts anymore it's just it's just another set of underwear that's very very uh, that could be very uncomfortable and quite itchy if you wear nothing underneath she bends over in front of the camera e exposing exposing the cat it's 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 just right there and it's posing for the camera and it is right in your face 
there's a couple others where there's another lady in a bikini and she's bending over right in front of the camera and the cat is just posing right there. Now, there are some videos on this sound that aren't as bad, at least. You know, it's just some of them are just the females are moving their backside a lot and it's it's just yep but i definitely i i usually wouldn't have a problem with this it's all over twitter stuff like this is on twitter all the time stuff like this is starting to make its way towards instagram recently um if you've been on instagram recently you'll see that a lot of these videos on instagram but the reason that i do have a slight problem with this is because tiktok is meant to be garnered towards children and i myself have had my TikTok lives. That's right, my TikTok lives banned multiple times for sexual content. And you might be wondering, oh my God, Donnie, what did you do? Did you flash on TikTok live? Did you show your nipple? Did you accidentally show your budus? No. I, whenever I stream on TikTok, I either just show my face or recently, I've been doing the TikTok studio, where I don't have any webcam, only showing my gameplay to try and bring people towards my Twitch. And I have been banned multiple times for sexual content, for just saying certain things. Now, obviously, sometimes when I play games, I get a little bit aggressive, get a little bit angry sometimes, and I might tell someone to eat my genitals. Obviously, it's a joke, it's not serious, and I say it for a split second. But those TikTok lives have been banned multiple times for me saying something like that. And you might think that the TikTok words don't mean too much. And videos of people showing their genitalia very clearly and very almost right there would be garnered to be getting taken down. But no. I obviously stitched this video as well. The original one. I was not going to stitch one of the ones on the sound because fuck that. I don't want to get my video taken down or my TikTok page potentially banned. But when I did, I had a couple other women in my comments, which you probably, if you've gotten far, this far to the video, are wondering, oh, stop being an angry white male. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Just because you're a man. Blah, blah, blah. No, I have had other a couple women in the comments of that video that I stitched saying that they have had videos taken down of because their their larger breast area just shaking underneath a very very baggy t-shirt say they like jumped and it's just moved and their videos have gotten taken down because of that so it's not just me being a dude it's also other women who have gotten their videos taken down but no because these Women on here are big creators and get tons of views and they'll leave them up there. It's absolutely fine. Or TikTok just puts a blind eye to all of this and exposing the amount of children on this app to stuff like this. But if it's a small creator, if it's a dude, no, stuff them. We will take them down. But if it's a big female creator, we're going to leave them up there. Don't even worry about it. So yeah. I just wanted to make this video because I think TikTok is absolutely fucking biased as shit towards big creators, predominantly big creators. They don't care what these big creators do. You saw Sienna May where she sexually abused her ex-boyfriend and she's still up making videos. She sexually abused her ex-boyfriend and she's still up there. And now you got all these creators right here using this sound. Pretty much just advertising their OnlyFans, most likely. That is what I'm guessing this is for. Wearing very... And you can click on the sound. You can go onto my TikTok page. Right? Very extremely revealing clothing. To the point where it, they basically... They should just be naked. In a couple... A couple of them, they should just pretty much be naked. It should be... Ta should definitely be taken down. A Definitely breaching some kind of TikTok guidelines. But because they get views, because they're big, because they're probably relatively relatively big creators with a lot of followers, get a lot of views, get a lot of likes, we're just gonna leave them up there because we're biased as fuck.